Hello and welcome to Questions, Problems, and Horror Stories. I'm your host, David and Ark. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing uh, pretty good out there. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is the first time we're doing this, so uh, I asked several days ago for folks to send in uh, questions that they wanted to know, things they wanted to, I don't know, say, I guess, you know, that type of thing. Uh, I'll probably do this uh, every so often. Who knows? I guess it depends on uh, what kind of questions you guys want answered, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know. You never know with me. I never know with you. So there we go. It's just open, oh, up in the air. Um, if if I could give some kind of a, I don't know, a cookie, a prize, a something uh, to Scoot Squad, I, you would get it. You ask more questions than anybody else for sure and um really more questions than i expected altogether let alone from one person so kudos to you um that's that's awesome i appreciate it <laughs> so first question how old are you um i get that question a lot how old am i uh, and i'm just going to answer that by saying that i am close to i know wait for it 50 years old i know i know um, some of you, if you're really nice and generous, you're going to say, dude, you don't look like you're 50. Uh, some of you, most of you probably are going to say, wow, you look way older than 50. Uh, and yeah, I do. I I've always looked way older than I am just the way it is. Uh, especially when, uh, my hair started uh, vacating the premises, but you know what? It's all good. I'm having a good time. I'm having fun with it. So there you go. What is your favorite TV show and or movie? Oh, this is this is a good one. Um, my favorite TV show at the time that we're talking about this here is definitely Big Bang Theory. I love Big Bang Theory. I, I think it's hilarious. Um, what's funny is uh, I actually didn't watch the first uh, season and a half. Um because the premise just seemed ridiculous to me. You have these smart guys, and of course you have this, you know, cute, cute girl that moves in down the hallway. And um, I actually thought it was going to be way more raunchy uh, than it is. <laughs> Big Bang Theory, you know what I'm saying? As for my favorite movie, um, it's actually a tie but uh, for two movies. Um, and they're both, um, oh, one is really older, um, but, <laughs> but uh, Arthur... Uh, the original Arthur, not the crazy remake, um, but the original Arthur with Dudley Moore, loved it. All-time favorite movie that is tied with um, Stand By Me, based on Stephen King's The Body. Awesome movie, great coming of age, guys hanging out, you know, having a good time. You got the little brothers, big brothers, you got the whole, you know, bullying and comedy and... I don't know, it, it's very cool. I just, I love Stand By Me. Um, next question is, what is my favorite car in Beam NG? My favorite car. Um, all right, I'm going to go with um, cars that come with Beam NG. Um, and I would probably say, even though I can't drive it for Jack, I would have to say the Bull Light is probably my favorite. Um when they came out with the burn side though, I mean, I'm, I love old cars. So the burn side was a beautiful touch, uh, in terms of mods so far that I have seen the brand new one that burned put out. Holy cow. It's the burn side convertible. That is a piece of art. That is beautiful. I love that vehicle. There's no doubt about it. Um, so there you go. I hope that uh, answers that question. Will you ever show or explain your gaming rig. Okay, um, two things on that. One, uh, actually, if you jump over to, if you go to my YouTube channel and you hit the about, uh, it shows what makes up my gaming rig. And I'm using air quotes there because I will tell you, um, my gaming rig is is not, um, especially by today's standards, it's not you know some super duper powerful you know, knock your socks off machine. It's really not. Um, it's, it's a, and actually, um, it is a, uh, Acer crud. Uh, I can't remember the brand. I think it's Acer. Uh, it's actually, uh, an Acer mini tower that I, uh, and it's got a, an I seven 4470. Um, I actually shoved quite literally <laughs> shoved a, uh, an 
RX, um, yeah, an R9 290 uh, into that small form factor case. Uh, it doesn't actually quite fit, but, you know, eh, a little finagling here, a little finagling there. Eh, you, I can make it fit. Um, so that's crammed in there. It has stock um, CPU cooler. Uh, it has a stock fans that are on the, the, the card itself is a Sapphire Dual something or other. Um, and now that I'm saying that out loud, it might actually be an R9 270 instead of 290. See, I don't even know. You can check the specs, man. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but the case itself is just the Acer case that I purchased. It was a refurb job. I got a good deal on it. So, you know, I, I took that. Uh, I did upgrade the power supply. So it's got a uh, better power supply in it than what came with it. But I needed that in order to uh, power the video card. And then I bumped up the RAM to uh, 24 gigs. Um, the motherboard that came with it has this goofy little Acer connector. It's a tiny little connector, and I don't have anything for scale. Here's a pen. So it's it's like yay big, whereas a standard connector is, you know, longer. Um, I actually had to order an adapter from China in order to even get the thing to, to work. I did not realize when I ordered it, that's what I was going to get into. So anyway, um, that's my gaming rig. I have a um, 20, 22 21 and a half, 22 inch uh, hand spree monitor, nothing major. The camera is just a, an off the shelf um, big box store. <laughs> we won't name any names, uh, but uh, just a, an off the shelf big box store, Logitech. Um, I can't remember the, I really don't, I don't remember what the uh, uh, C270 uh, is, it's, is what it is. So, uh, you know, it's not. Um, it's not a lot. Uh, it's really not. Um, I would love to upgrade it and eventually I will. Um, but, uh, for now that's uh, my gaming rig. So there you go. What is my least favorite thing about BeamNG? Wow. My least favorite thing. Okay. I have two. I'll go with two. <laughs> All right. Number one. Um, I, I am not a fan of how grabby all of the scenery is, um, all of the, all of the pieces and parts, you know, you could be driving down the road and if you happen to bump, um, a guardrail or you happen to bump a tree, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, it's, it's going to grab you and whip you around. And it's not, um, I'm not worried necessarily about it being, um, like realistic or not realistic, but, um, by the same token, it just seems to me that there should be some more forgiveness in there. Um, and then my other least favorite thing is that there's no people. I want people. How come there's no people? Um, you know, granted, I don't want beam MG beam NG to be a, um, uh, what was that game? Uh, flat out, right? You don't want to be like flat out where the people are flying through the windshield every time. So I can understand not having people, but by the same token, I don't know. There's just something about having a person on the screen in the car, you know, something along those lines. So I would say those are my two least favorite things about BMNG. But outside of that, I mean, I think it's phenomenal. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing it. I definitely wouldn't be recording it. I wouldn't have bought it. I mean, you know, all that goes together. BeamNG, I think, is a wonderful, wonderful game. And here, how long have I been married? Um, my wife and I have been married uh, this this year, as I'm putting this out, uh, is our 25th wedding anniversary. So we've been married for 25 years. And I can't tell you um, how quickly the time goes. And I know that sounds so cliche, but man, I mean, it seems like it really does. It just seems like the other day, um, I was, uh, attempting to woo her from her boyfriend. Then at the time, um, I, I look, let's just put it out there. I, I looked way better than I do now. <laughs> okay. So I had a much better shot then than I would now by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> uh, I'll probably edit that out anyway. <laughs> all right. So, that's how long I've been married. Uh, we've been married for 25 years. It's been awesome. Uh, we had ups, downs, worked through a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not easy to live with necessarily. So uh, she's she's uh, amazing. She's an amazing, amazing woman. Uh, and, I, and I love her dearly. And I love her to death. Um, it's, it's been awesome.
really has. How long have I been gaming? Um, I, I'm pretty sure I've probably, maybe not answered this directly, but definitely have talked about it in some of the other videos that I've done. Um, I was born, as I said earlier, I'm almost 50. So I was born late 60s, early 70s. That's as close as I'll get. Um, and um, when Pong came out in arcades, uh, and actually, if I remember right, um, I didn't actually play Pong. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm going to tell all. No, uh, I didn't actually play Pong in an arcade. They didn't even have arcades in those days. Um, so we're talking, you know, very, very early 1970s. Uh, my parents actually both worked in a bar in Pittsburgh. And uh, I can remember as a kid going to the bar and, and asking for quarters to play this Pong game where, you know, you turn these knobs and the light bars went up and down and there was just a square that bounced between them. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing that I could put a quarter in this box and it would let me manipulate this this just line on the screen. I controlled it and I then, my, re, my actions and reactions governed where this little blip on the screen uh, ended up going. Blew me away. Uh, even, even I, I mean, I can remember and I was tiny, I was tiny and I can still remember that. And then essentially everything after that. So I've basically been video gaming since video games were a thing. Now, before actual video games, you know, there were, you know, we had pinball that we played, you know, that type of thing. Um, I can remember playing uh, a game where you took a little puck uh, and there were these pins that kind of hung down and you'd roll the, you, well, not roll, you would, you kind of scoot that puck across this floor and it would hit these little triggers um, in the floor. And when you hit the triggers, certain pins would go up. And so then you, and you bowled that way. You did, you bowled with this puck. Um, so not really video gaming, but still gaming. I mean, you know, and, and I, and again, I was teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. Uh, so the short answer, a long, long time. So those questions um, came from Scoot Squad. Um, and then uh, Burned happened to get in there. So, <laughs> so congratulations to Burned, uh, who, uh, who, who got to squeeze in a question in between. Um, and wow. Okay. How did you come in contact with BeamNG? Oops. How did I come in contact with BeamNG? I'm trying to remember the first time I saw a BeamNG video. Um, I'm going to assume because I don't remember exactly, but I believe that I watched someone and it was either, um, it was either YBR or Jacksepticeye or maybe Markiplier. I, I don't remember which, but it was, I'm pretty sure it was one of those guys. I don't remember it being anybody else. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been one of those, one of those guys and they were playing, um, the super stunt track, maybe I can't remember. It was probably my son, uh, Tyler J H seven. Um, he, he probably was one of the first people who explained or showed me some early access stuff. I can't remember what, or, or at least, uh, helped his old man wrap his brain around what early access is. And then I jumped on the bandwagon. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm all for it. I love it. Um, so in a nutshell, um, I would say my first contact with BeamNG was through some other YouTuber, and I am pretty sure it was either Jacksepticeye or Markiplier, um, possibly YBR, someone, uh, some somewhere along those lines. It might have even been Fail Race. Boy, the more I'm thinking about that, it, it could, it, it may have also been Fail Race. I, I can't remember. You know, Alex, uh, those guys, all, all those, the, the four of them. Um, were really the first four gaming YouTubers that I really started watching and really latched onto. Um, and so it stands to reason that they would have been uh, the influence behind my deciding to ultimately get a hold of BeamNG. Once again, long freaking answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, so Burned asks, 
what is my favorite classic car? All right, this this is easy for me. Um, my favorite classic car of all time is a 1965 Chevy Vet. All right, um, Scoot Squad asks, do you play Beam and G ever not on video? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I, I play around in Beam and G, uh, not recording, just to play around, uh, to try some different things. Um, but having said that, uh, usually when I hit the record button, um, the first time you're seeing me do something is most likely the first time I'm doing it. So that's, that's why I like to have so much fun in the game. I just get in there and, uh, you know, why not? You guys get to see and experience my learning and my uh, often just immense ineptitude at playing the game. Uh, I, I just, I, I, I can imagine how many of you sit out there screaming at the monitor going David and Ark if you would just do this or don't do that or you know but it's a lot of fun I absolutely love it but yes I do play Beam NG uh, off camera um, and uh, just to experiment to play with some stuff now the other thing is that there are times when I am recording and it just goes so bad or I just don't like I don't know, whatever's happening in the video or frankly, you know, if after, if I've, if, especially if I'm just kind of messing around and I'm playing around and, and I've been recording it and frankly, it's boring. Uh, you know, I'm not going to throw that out there. Okay. Sometimes I throw it out there, but anyway, uh, again, short answer. Yes. Yes, I do. What is my favorite genre of music? Um, this is way complicated. Um, I'm one of those people who literally, and I hate using that word because it's become such a goofy cliche word, but in the literal sense of the word literally, <laughs> I literally listen to anything and everything. Um, it drives my wife and kids crazy sometimes, but I really will listen to anything out there. I don't care if it's rock, rhythm and blues, R&B, rap, pop hip hop, bubble gum, J pop, whatever. I will listen to anything. Um, I absolutely love music. I love different styles of music. Um, I, you know, uh, whatever, heavy metal, thrash, grunge. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's, it's most of it is music. Now, some of it, that's a stretch for me. Uh, and I don't necessarily like it. Um, but I will listen to anything. So, of all music, what would be my favorite genre, though? Um, truthfully, uh, I, I'm i torn between um, indie singer-songwriters, uh, or at least singer-songwriters who haven't been discovered yet. You know, they're kind of those those gems that you catch on to every now and then, you know, somebody, you see a video uh, of somebody singing a song that you'd never, you know, you'd never heard of that person before. And, and you hadn't heard the song that they're singing or, um, you know, I, I don't know. There's just something about, about that. And again, it can be any kind of music. Um, but you know, that, that the singer songwriter style, which generally is usually, you know, a person with a guitar, but not necessarily have to be that. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I, I like, current top 100 music I, I really do uh, you know uh, yeah a lot of it's auto-tuned and frankly a lot of it's crap but uh, I still like it so there you go <laughs> oh my gosh how far do I expect to go in subscribers okay um, first of all I, I want to take a moment and thank every one of you who has decided to add me into your collection of folks that you subscribe to. Um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know. It just, it, it blows me away. Um, it, this is an interesting question. How far do I expect to go? Uh, I will be blunt and tell you I expected to get about 15 total. I really did. Um, the support that you guys have given me has absolutely blown me away. I, I had I had no idea. And it's not just the fact that you guys like it enough to subscribe, but the comments, the things you guys say, 
I, I appreciate it so much. I, I really do. Um, you're so positive and you're so encouraging and you obviously see things in me that I'm not seeing at all. Um, because of some of the comments that, that you say, um, and, and I appreciate that so much. I, I really do. It just, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing to me. Um, so how far do I expect to go? I've already exceeded those expectations. Um, how far would I like to go? Uh, as I've said before, I would like to get to the point where I could do this full time. That would be awesome. Um, if doing YouTube was my full time job, I think the videos would be um, better than they are. Uh, I, especially in terms of some of the editing and some of the, um, uh, the, some of the amateur stuff that I know I'm doing. Um, now I will tell you straight up some of that it's going to stay because that's how I am. So I, whatever. Um, I generally do not follow whatever rules there are of, you know, of said systems, you know, all YouTubers should do X, Y, Z. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing necessarily X, Y, Z, or I'm not going to do them in X, Y, Z order or whatever. I'm going to do my own thing. And you know, some folks are going to like it and, and they're going to be along and they're going to be on board and other folks aren't. And that's fine. There's, I don't know what, eight billion people doing YouTube videos. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to appeal to everyone. I totally get it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to appeal to a whole lot of people. The fact that I put my face out there and it's not, uh, as I say, I got a face for radio. I, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, whatever. Um, uh, but, uh, but no, really, uh, it's my expectations. I, the new goal I have said is I expect to at some point be able to quit my full-time job and do YouTube full-time. But, uh, you know, as I've said also, if if this is it, if the number of subscribers that I have right now is the peak, I'm good with that. You know, there's a lot of us who have been communicating um, through comments in the, uh, you know, on the different videos. Um, there's a couple of us who are actually over on the discussion side and, and having discussions, and I hope that kind of grows. But really, I'd be perfectly fine with that. Um, I, I might not be able to keep up the same pace. Um but hopefully, you know, that wouldn't affect too many things and we'll just keep playing games and hanging out. I'm good with that. I'm perfectly fine. A scary, creepy story from my past. Um, wow. Scary or creepy story. Um, my, my scary stories are not like boo scary. They're more like the holy cow stories. <laughs> so... Uh, ironically, and, and I say ironically, hopefully you understand why in a second, uh, they generally revolve around me driving, which is funny because right now, you know, BeamNG is, <laughs> the, you know, the BeamNG games are the most watched videos I have. So I find it ironic that those are also the, my driving is, is where some of those stories come from. Uh, and let me give you a couple of examples. Um, one time, uh, my brother and I, were driving, if I'm not mistaken, we were actually driving to my parents' house. Um, I, I want to say this was probably for a Christmas break. I don't think it was spring break, but it could have been. Who knows? I, I can't remember the time of year. Um, and we're driving down the road. And as we're going, uh, we were in, I want to say that we were in Southern Virginia. Um, and as we're driving down the highway, there is, uh, there are roads that just kind of enter the highway from the sides, not ex not actual exits. It's almost like people just live there or something. I, it was really weird. Maybe it was a rest stop or something. I see now I can't remember all the details. Um, I'm sure I've blocked a lot of it out, uh, but we're driving. And as we're going, we're doing 70 miles an hour. Um, this elderly man in a pickup truck pulls right out onto the highway right in front of us. Um, I have no idea to this day. I have no idea how I managed to get around the, his truck and get parked on the side of the road without killing everybody. Um, I, I distinctly remember he pulled out, I slammed on the brakes, I turned the wheel, uh, and then really I was on the side of the road and even that I don't exactly remember. Um, what I remember most is um, 
there were people who pulled in behind us and they came out and knocked on my window. And that, that's really the first memory that I have after that. And, uh, they were just freaked out and they were like, Oh my gosh, are you okay? You know? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. You know, is everybody okay? You know, and my, my brain is trying to make sense of what just happened. And they were like, they said, Holy cow. That was, that was amazing driving. You, you went around and you went past them. Uh, and then you got off to the side of the road and we thought for sure you were just going to plow straight into the back of that truck. And, and I, it was as if someone had taken my car and picked it up and moved it and moved it and put me on the side of the road. It was absolutely just terrifying. And again, not like bruh scary, but just freak you out kind of scary. Um, so uh, another time I was, I was with a girl that I was dating and we were driving home from seeing a concert in Red Rocks when I lived in Colorado. Uh, in fact, it may have been, it might have been prom or I can't remember. No, I don't think it was prom. No, it wasn't prom. It was something else. Anyway, something we had gone to at Red Rocks. We're coming back home and uh, I, I had fallen asleep at the wheel. Uh, evidently that's a habit or was. <laughs> um, and uh, as we're driving, I distinctly remember what I can't re remember is if I woke up just as I hit the other car or if I tapped the other car and then that's what woke me up. Either way, um, I had bumped the, the back corner quarter panel of, of the vehicle in front of me. Uh, I was in the right lane. They were in the left passing lane and I had bumped them. And so we pulled off and of course I'm flipped up. She is absolutely bonkers. Um, and, and so, you know, they come over, they wanted to see if I'm okay. And of course I'm, you know, flipped out. So, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, do you want me to call the cops? Do you want to do insurance? Da, da, da. And, and it was for, um, elderly folks that were in a car and they said no uh, that they were driving by and realized that I had fallen asleep and so they positioned their car so that if my car started to drift toward the median um, that I would hit that I would tap them before drifting across you know all the lanes of traffic um, it was it was amazing uh, they just you know they in fact if I, if I remember it they even gave me uh, some water to drink and just told me to hang out and, and, and keep the windows down and you know get get woken up and, and make sure that I was okay before driving down the road that was absolutely terrifying that really was so that's probably not what you were looking for in asking that question but there you go Will you ever move to other games or series? For example, Battlefield 1, Kona, Happy Wheels, or any others? I already do. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to answer this. Um, if, if you go to my channel itself and you look over the video, especially if you go to the, the, the home page of my channel, or whatever they call that, home, the landing page of my channel, and you scroll down, you'll see some of the playlists of, of the videos that I've already done. Um, that definitely does not cover everything. The best way to see that kind of stuff is to go to the videos link and look down through uh, the different um, games that I've done. Um, I want to keep track of all the games that I record and that I play on air. Um, and I've done, I've played at least 70 different titles in video form on my YouTube channel. And I know that's going to surprise a lot of you because most of you only see the BMNG stuff. Again, I'm kind of new to this, so I don't exactly know how all that works. Why, I don't know why you're not seeing my non BMNG stuff, but anyway, it's out there and, and it's, there's a lot of it. <laughs> um, and it's, it's what I record, uh, or try to record, um, every day. Uh, as I had mentioned, um, in a, in an earlier video, um, I'm trying to post two videos per day, which is a lot given the fact that I'm you know, working full time and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to post two videos per day. One at this point, one is beam NG because I love playing it. You guys are giving me great suggestions on things to do with it. Um, so one of them is beam NG. And then the other video that I try to post each day is just something not beam ng i don't it doesn't matter what it is just whatever it is it's just not beam ng but yeah so i play all kinds of different games that i record um in terms of um things like battlefield one um i may or may not get that and play it uh i've never uh, well let me back up battlefield 1942 yeah the old game from like 1992 um 
<laughs> that one I was halfway decent at, although even that's sketchy. Um, but the battlefields after that, I've, I've never been really good at battlefield. I'm just going to throw that out there. I, I'm just not. Um, so I may or may not do that. Um, Kona, I'm, I'm not familiar with. I may have to go check out Kona and see what Kona is. Happy Wheels. Um, I've played a little bit of Happy Wheels. Uh, I don't feel comfortable recording it until I, I'm much better at controlling um, now I realize part of part of the appeal of Happy Wheels is getting completely obliterated, and, and I'm all for that. You know me, I you know hey we'll we'll, we'll go for it. Um, but uh, I don't want a whole series of videos of you watching me struggle to just figure out Happy Wheels. And I know it's not complicated: up, down, forward, backward. Uh, you're right. Um, in theory, that's great. In practice, something happens between this and this and this so <laughs> once i once i get all those to align i'll i'll probably do some happy wheels uh we may we may play with that so yes so definitely um and again i'm already doing that uh i've got turmoil series um there are a couple of series that i well i guess it's not really a series if i only did one video but there are a couple of games where i, where I did one video or two videos um and uh for whatever reason i just haven't I don't know. I, I either lost interest or um, it just I just wasn't getting a good vibe out of it, uh, so I let those go. So there may some there may be some games that I revisit uh, and and get back to. Um, so definitely be looking for those, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's here's a great question: What is my wife's opinion on my gaming or on me gaming? Um, the the exact question: What is your wife's opinion on you gaming? Um, so I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly. I'm assuming that's what you mean. That that what is her opinion about the fact that I'm gaming? As I mentioned before, I've been gaming since I was this big. So okay, not quite that big, <laughs> but <laughs> um, so I've been gaming for a long time. Um, it's one of those things where uh, I try not to let it interfere with personal life. And, and I've talked about that before, too. You know, push comes to shove, my family comes first. I can throw this away and come back to it or not come back to it or whatever I need to do. Um, but uh, we, we actually talked about this the other day. Um, you know, my subscriber base is growing. And, and again, I thank you guys so much. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and, and eventually, I hope to anyway if, if it continues to grow then I at some point I'm going to actually start making money and um, we've also talked about that and if I get to the point where I'm actually um, earning a living doing this uh, she's all for it she's ready <laughs> she's she's ready to spend the YouTube money as she says so uh, I think it's very cool I, th I think she's cool with it um, as long as it's not uh, interfering with uh, general family life and and you know that type of thing so uh she just knows that's a part of who I am, a part of what I do. Uh, I spend, you know, I spend time gaming where I don't record it and I don't put it up online. Uh, and and you know, she comes every now and then and checks out what I'm playing and asks questions about it and stuff. So, uh, so she's cool with it to an extent uh, and is really looking forward to seeing where this whole YouTube thing uh, takes me, takes us. So it'll be interesting to see. But anyway. Uh, I, I think that's all the questions. If I missed a question, please forgive me, uh, and I'll try to get it next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Um, let me know. Uh, hit the like button if you would, um, and let me know down in the comments section. You got any questions, problems, horror stories? Feel free to leave those. And, and um, I don't know if, if you want to see me do another Q and A. By all means, uh, let me know. And uh, after, I don't know, some time, I guess when I amass enough questions, <laughs> then uh, we'll post them out there and uh, we'll answer them. In the meantime, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you next time.